All right, guys, today I want to talk about nicotine and inflammatory bowel disease. Um, it's just in general, taking nicotine as a sort of treatment and how it can impact it. Um, I've actually been using nicotine for quite a few years now as a, like a therapeutic treatment. And I just wanted to talk about that and things that I was told when I first was diagnosed with IBD. And um, hopefully it can give you guys some information. So what did I hear about when I was diagnosed? So I was told that smoking um, can have a positive impact on ulcerative colitis and a negative impact on Crohn's. And this was from like the nurse. And then when I researched it, um, there was words that oftentimes people who used to smoke, like myself, I used to smoke cigarettes when I was like 18, um, and then stop, you are typically diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, which was a bit strange. Apparently it's quite common. Um, and I just thought I'd talk about that a bit. And so the theory behind it is that nicotine suppresses your immune system a little bit. So it makes it a little bit weaker. So what does that mean for inflammatory bowel disease? Well, your immune system is going to town on itself. So, uh, you know, suppressing that a little bit could ease those symptoms slightly. So after hearing this for a while, I thought, you know, I don't, I haven't smoked for a long time, but I thought, you know what, let's give it a go because I wanted to take any measures to try and ward off like a IBD flare. So I went and got nicotine gum and because I'm quite wary of being like addicted to it, I researched, I just Googled like nicotine addictive dose and it said five milligrams and above is when uh, you could become addicted. I don't know how true this is, but I decided, I was like, I will go no higher than five milligrams a day. So I found some Nicorette gum, which I've, you know, I've always got a stash upstairs and I have one in the morning, a two milligram gum after breakfast and a two milligram gum after dinner. And I've been doing that for years now um so has it helped well i would say it's such an imperceptible amount that um it's hard to say but um you know i'm very sort of religious in the way that i take my medications i don't miss days um rigorous is probably a better word so i chew the gum daily and then there's been the odd day where i didn't um because i just kind of like it slipped my mind and I think one, that shows the addictive dose. I think that's true because I didn't have a craving to chew it. Um, but on those days where I did sort of forget, um, and it's very rare, it's only happened about twice in years, um, I got gut cramps and pain. And that sort of reinforced the fact for me that it might be helping. Well, I won't say facts, but the, the, you know, it might be helping. It could be placebo, but, you know, placebo effect is still an effect. Um, if you believe in it, it will do something. Um, and you know what well, that reinforced it for me. So, um, yeah, I still chew it. I've already had one this morning. Um, people are a bit strange when they say, um, they see me with nicotine gum and they're like, do you smoke? And I'm like, no. And then I sort of explain my rationale behind it. The fact that I've got IBD, it could suppress the immune system. That's why I chew it. I chew it therapeutically. And they sort of understand. But yeah, people are like um, a bit like taken aback when they're like, oh, you don't smoke, but you're chewing nicotine gum. Yeah. And so, you know, I think it could be worth investigating um the only thing is it's not good for crohn's apparently which is um yeah i can't provide any information about that because i have ulcerative colitis so i can only speak from my experience but um you know i've heard weed to be very helpful for crohn's i've heard that from multiple people um i remember seeing a documentary even about a dude who had crohn's and he smoked loads of weed <coughs> Um, you know, he'd uh, smoke in a bong. Um, but, 
yeah, it's interesting. Um, for me, um, with weed, I'll just give my um, what I have experienced from weed. I actually found that um, so I for a time I was vaping just weed, and for a time um, I found that I'd actually flare up a bit the following day, and I don't know if it's actually because I found weed was giving me quite a lot of anxiety. And then that anxiety would um, in turn affect my IBD. Um, so I'm not sure if it was that, but I did find more often than not, I would vape some weed and then the next day I would see blood in my stool. So that was a, um, a big reason for me to uh, go off of it a bit. Other than like the major reason was the anxiety, but... Yeah, just experiencing that more often than not sort of showed me maybe weed doesn't help me in particular, but nicotine might. And it's just interesting how ulcerative colitis and Crohn's has these differences. You know, in a lot of ways it's similar and in some ways it's actually very different. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I think nicotine could be helpful for those of you with colitis um could be helpful for Crohn's as well but I can't say but I've heard the opposite I was told the opposite from my nurse weirdly has apparently an inverse effect it's not good for Crohn's just strange like that isn't it I, d I don't know but yeah for me it's helped me um I wouldn't say you should start smoking because you know that has a, it's a whole other problems so that's why I chose nicotine gum, because it just gets absorbed into your bloodstream. Um, you could try other methods, but I would err on the side of like not inhaling something. Because, um, you know, if you're doing it for therapeutic use, why not just take it in like the cleanest form you can find? And the, the cleanest, easiest form to find is either like a patch or some gum. And I opted for gum because I like to chew something. Uh, might as well get some mastication going on at the same time as uh, as getting your nicotine hit. Um, they say to leave it on the gum, let it absorb, but I tell you what, I just like to chew the shit out of it and then put it down. I do let it rest on the gum a little bit. And I found at first um, you get this sort of almost like a burning feeling if you press it up against your gum. And I think that is the nicotine being absorbed. And uh, at first it used to give me a little kick in my throat, almost as if I was smoking. But um, I guess I've done it for so long now that I don't get that feeling. Uh, or the nicotine gum I've got has just gone out of date. Because I go through it very slowly. I'm only having two a day and you get this pack and you get like hundreds of them in it. And by the time I get to the end, they're probably well out of date, I guess. Maybe, maybe it's not even working. I don't know. I'm getting near the end of the pack that I'm on now, so I'll get a new one and um, I'll see if it burns again. Um, Flavour-wise, um, I hate a lot of the flavours, but I like fruit infusion, um, Nicorette fruit infusion or original. And original's got like this sort of um, minty kick to it. And I did like the kick in my throat, I, I can't lie. There was something about that I enjoyed. It's almost like it makes you want to cough and you get this like hit in your throat. For some reason, I enjoy it. Don't know why. But yeah, that was it really. Um, I don't have too much to say. I mean, if I had a doctor here, that would be cool. I could ask them. But I don't right now. Maybe in the future, I'll be able to. And I'll tell you what, if I can, I want to try and get my specialist to get some time to come talk. That would be awesome. Um, if I can do that, um, what would you want to hear from a specialist nurse? Or, you know, the consultant. Maybe I could talk to the consultant. That would be that would be epic. Um, but yeah, what would you want to hear from the specialist nurse? What would you want to ask? And I'll, I'll start thinking up some questions. And I'll, I'll try and make it happen, you know. Because I think hearing these things from a specialist nurse would be really helpful. And I think we could make loads of awesome videos and information from the nurse. So, yeah. I'm going to go away and think about this because I think that's an awesome idea. Uh, maybe I can go up to the hospital with the camera, just set set up set up like this, just um, to make it as easy as possible because I don't have much time. 
So, yeah, well, I'll leave it there. I've, I've come up with a cool idea. I'm, I'm going to have to try and action this. So um, thank you for listening. I hope the information I've given you has been useful in any way. Hopefully it has been. I'm not sure if it will be, but yeah. Some of you might have been interested in hearing about nicotine. Um, you know, if I found it, there's got to be some other people out there that are sort of interested in learning about it and are thinking about using it for the same reasons I am. So, yeah, let's leave it at that. Right. Thank you to the cat for joining us today. Right, see you next video. No, you're purring. <laughs>